Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. What do you want from me? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. <laughs> If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolucion! Alright. So we need to get back onto the roof. Where Which is easy enough. Let's get back up here. So now we're working against our boss. There's, there's some weird about that, as you can see, where the cutscene kind of cuts off. So we're gonna sneak over here. Hmm. Tom's office is empty. Am I squeaking? I am. <laughs> I only realized that. Let's make ourselves a drink. Yeah. Nice. What the? It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. Now we've got some coral. I don't know why he's got coral in there. But he does, so. It's attached pretty well. Now we need to get this gum shield up here. Let's do a little, little punching. Punch a ruse. Pick that up. Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. Now we have all that shit we need. Let's have another drink. Before leaving. May as well. Before going out onto the roof again. <laughs> you know, you may as well get drunk for that. And now we go into inventory. Grab this fucking abomination. Very convenient abomination. Wrap it around. Hello. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. And now we've got a grappling hook. I said, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Fucking... I don't know why this stuff exists. Like, why is there a tie? Like, a tie sculpture rope fucking thing. There's no need for that to exist on this building. Why is the building got a missing part on it? Why do a lot of things in this game? the eggs. Right. Um, balloon. Put the balloon in here. Just, Maybe just, that will scare them. Eventually. This puzzle is stupid. Uh, bread. <laughs> Put that in there. 
Now let the birds eat until the balloon pops. Spook them away and we take their children for our own nefarious gains. Your children are going to be soldiers. For someone's personal army. Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge pickers. Let's pick some of these eggs up. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Now let's peace out. Uh, I put the eggs. I still have the eggs, right? Yes. These babies are going to war. Yes, they are. <laughs> Uh, now we go back down. Fucking Monkey Island style music. We need to go into the garage, we need to go back to where we were locked up. Because there's a little fucking like rubber cement kind of thing over here. That we need to get to. I'm just constantly hey, hold I'm just constantly holding shift at this time right now. So we need to use this gum shield on this rubber cement kind of thing. Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. Let's go outside. And now we're gonna use it. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my team. That's part of Chalky aftertaste too. That's part two of what we need. So now let's make a run for it. And there's the portal to the land of the living. I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay, uh interact with the crazy eye. And to guess. I've got all the stuff I need now, we can blow this place. Hey you, I've got eggs. Check these babies out. Make Excellent. these dudes warriors. With these I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you. Agent Calavera. I myself yes. would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry. But freedom. Funny you should price. say that. I just so happen to have that right here. We need to give this to Ava. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. If you want to find your lost soul, how do you know where she is? I don't, but everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament, and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. At least that fucking cutscene didn't cut out. That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. Was that city over there? Nice. Okay, uh, let's save again. Save here. No, not that way. Oh, never mind. Look who it is. Blood is my friend. Why are you crying? Maddie? Oh, Maddie, they fired me. <laughs> Oh, 
Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Maddie. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods. To... <laughs> Gladys, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. You were a good man. Jesus Christ. Can I pick this up? No. It's too well anchored. Jesus Christ, what a loud snorer. You're supposed to be dead. Away from its spider fly. I guess I could always use a spare. Soup's on. This, this, this. Oh, they don't I'll, seem very interested in that bone I put in there. A lot of puzzles in point and click adventure games are a bit stupid. They require a, a bit more thinking than I think most people are prepared to do. Hey, look at this. Pop. Off you go. Oh, poor spiders. No more demon heart to eat. Now let's take another bone. For later. Actually, we could take... Let's take... Like, four. For later. Say that's about as much as we'll need. Dun dun. Mm. We've got the heart. The heart of the demon. It's still beating. Heart! Heart is good. Be good to heart. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good. Strong, beating, good heart. Hey, is that my car? Mr. Lamont, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living. That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. But not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! I, I kind of like that thing about the gun. It brings people to life. Now we can pick that sign up later on. For when it's needed. Here's a little puzzle. Fucking bit annoying puzzle. Híjole, mano. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. Dude knows what he's talking about. So all, what you need to do here is get those tree prongs moving in unison. So 
we're close. Oh god, this is gonna take a while. Fucking... Oh. Is it further this way? No. No, no. Let's move all the way up here first. Okay. Oh. There we go. Now we need to do this. The shabam. Ooh, careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but oh, if we shook the his tree fucking down, ears wiggling is the greatest thing. I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon. Hold on, I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Okay. He's a fucking Just fast climber, isn't he? <laughs> hey, Benny, what are you doing? Okay, it worked immediately. I was doing this before, it fucking took forever, and I needed to move the wheelbarrow like one inch. It was such Man, bullshit. scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on, we saw Like eagles. Yeah. Like eagles on... Pogo sticks! What a poet. What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in. Or are you afraid of heights? Right, so now we got that done. That was weird. I think we go up here this time. Trying to, try, try to like... <sighs> Manny! What are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny! <laughs> They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny, they don't use wood. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fire beavers. Hey! Those things came into the real world natural man would be fucked. Okay. But what needs to be done here? Uh, uh, bone. Throw bone in here. Now, quickly find fire <laughs> extinguisher. There we go. And now, just hold use. Look at those 3D effects. There was one beaver. And now we have to do this two more times, just... Apparently, I thought there was so many more. <laughs> oh shit. Wasn't ready. Come on, beaver. And this should be the last of them. So we got like t two extra bones. Or no, just one. We'll find some use for that.
We can stick it on our forehead and pretend to be a unicorn.